This is Professor L. B. Gaikwad's English Literature Web. I am Professor L. B. Gaikwad. He is teaching today the topic lecture number 390, Spoken English for Competitive Examinations, Part 11. Remember, we are doing, we are attempting only for the spoken English of students because English speaking is a problem for the students of India. Because I have seen many students in rural area who do not know how to write and speak English and that's why I am attempting here to make this spoken English very simple to understand in the sense of such students. I will request you first to see my video, to see my notes which I have put in the description box. The second request I will I will do is that please please share, subscribe, watch and like my YouTube channel. Here I am going now to the topic. The topic is simple present tense and the positive sentences of this simple present tense. Now the first point is here. What is the simple present tense? The simple present tense shows object's daily routine. Remember, object means a person, object means the thing. Here the simple present tense shows the object's daily routine, daily habits, daily hobbies and universal truth. For example, I will say, I play cricket every day in school. I play cricket every day in school. This is the daily routine. Because I play cricket every day in school, this is the daily routine. Daily routine means always this I, this person, this object is doing the same action. So that's why it is the daily routine. So daily routine means the person, the object, the thing does the activities on the day, on the day means on the total day. And that's why it is called the routine work of the day. So I play cricket every day in school is the daily routine. I read a newspaper every day is the daily habit because remember here he says I read a newspaper every day is the daily habit because he reads the paper newspaper every day and that's why it is his daily habit. I collect different stamps for my hobby. I collect different strands for my hobby is the daily hobby of this particular gentleman. The earth moves around the sun every day is the universal truth. The earth moves around the sun every day is the universal truth. Now we will go into the explanation of all these activities. Daily routine means every day's work of the object. Object means the person, the thing. It means the total activities of the person means I will say of the person of the day means the in the total day that person does the activities that is called daily routine. Daily routine means every day's routine is called the daily routine. Object means male, female and inanimate persons means object means the thing, object means the particular identity, particular thing and that's why it is said that object means male, male means some persons are there, uh, suppose William Shakespeare, Coleridge are there, female, female means women are there, I will say Sarah, Yara, all these are called the females and inanimate persons means those persons who uh, I will say the uh, I will say uh, inanimate persons means those persons which cannot speak 
they cannot move and that's why they are called inanimate persons means they are completely like the dead persons means they are only things they do not make any kind of action and that's why they are called the inanimate persons daily habits means objects daily interest means if that object or person or thing has the daily interest daily likings those daily interest or likings are called the daily habits daily hobbies means objects daily likings means if there is a person and if that person person has the daily likings daily routine daily i will say interest those daily likings or interests are called the daily hobbies of that particular person or the thing or the object universal truth means the event which happens daily and is true in the universe everywhere means this universal truth is true is same real everywhere and that's why it is called the universal truth that is in the world it is very much true so it is called the universal truth so remember the universal truth is everywhere the same the same means it is in in india in america in europe everywhere it is same and that's why it is called the universal truth we cannot write and speak this universal truth in other than the simple present tense it means that if we want to write and speak the universal truth we can speak that only in the simple present tense remember it is the important rule the universal truth is written and spoken in the simple present tense only it means that we can speak it only in the simple present tense but sometimes in the special case we can write and speak the universal truth in other tenses also uh, remember here the universal truth is always spoken and written it means that we can write and speak this universal truth in the simple present tense but sometimes we can change it and we can speak it in other tenses also for example the earth will move around the sun in future remember here the uh, universal truth is actually uh, what is the universal truth actually the earth moves around the sun every day the earth moves around the sun every day it is the actual universal truth but we have changed this universal truth and we have transformed it in the simple present uh, simple uh, future tense and that's why the sentence is here the earth will earth will move around the sun in future it is the simple future tense means we have done it or we have spoken or written it in the simple future tense the earth moved remember the earth moved around the sun yesterday it is the particular sentence in which we have changed this universal truth in the simple past tense means it is the rule that if we want in a, in a special case uh, to change the universal truth we can change it and we can speak it so we have taken these two examples also here what is the positive sentence that is the important point here as per this topic so i will say positive sentence is a sentence in which we don't use not means if there is no not there is no no or there is no never such type of sentence is called the positive sentence means in every positive sentence we do not see there not or no or never the above four sentences are positive because the sentences which we have taken above are all uh, positive i will say because there is no identity there is no use of not no or never and that's why they are called the positive sentences so remember s plus v plus o plus c that is the svoc that is the positive structure means if we want to speak the positive sentence 
our sentence should be svoc svoc means subject verb object and complement means there should not be not there should not be no and there should not be never so what is svoc i will say yes means subject v means verb o means object and c means complement so here there should not be the i will say not in the sentence means there should be only subject verb object and complement and we should uh, make the positive sentence with the help of these subject verb object and complement and there we should not use no or never or not such type of sentence is called the positive sentence so here today we have finished the topic simple present tense and positive sentences we will we will again uh, we will again come in front of each other with a new topic till then thank you thank you very much